There is not a pastor you know that can do what we doing. Not one. They cannot go Bible, script, script, how we doing it. We ain't standing up here reading off no board. Right. That's because we studied it. Yet right. still, there's pastors that's been teaching for 40 years and still don't know what Jesus looked like. Bring it out. When we just showed some young men and a whole family that Christ looked like them. So this, so this, I'm eight times, I'm eight times. So I know you say you love your life. You love your life. All our people love their lives. But the way you said that you you don't like dresses, no. you don't do whatever. That's your son right here in the red shorts, yes. right? Right? Yes. Come here. I, now I asked him, what did Jesus look like, didn't I? Open your fly up. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what he said. I'm going to show you what he said. Because we want to do what we want to do, our children actually have no clue who they real safe is. Open it up. Open it up. Let me see. Let me see. Bring it to me. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something, Dad. I coming. Dad, look at this. Is this Jesus right here? Jesus, white man. He is? Yeah. Mm. Jesus is a white man. And your son said the same. Jesus is a white man. Now, give me Revelations 1 and 1. I'm going to prove it to you dead. In the book that you read on Sunday, you actually never read it. None of our people ever read it. Bring it out. Because it tells you that Christ looked like you. That's right. And you said he was a white man. He's a Jew. Right. The Jews in the Bible, what color are they sis? What color are the Jews in the Bible? She read it earlier. What color are the Jews in the Bible? Black. What color? Black. If Christ was a Jew, wouldn't it mean he was a black man? Here you go, brother. I want you to hang on to that. Read that real fast. I'm going to prove it to you out of the Bible. Your son said he's white because our people do whatever we want to do. Because we choose to. Our children grow up hating themselves. Right. right. Literally, I showed him a picture of somebody that looked like him, and he was afraid of that photo. Mind you, he's talking to people that look like on that photo. So he's afraid of his own people. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. That means the revealing. The word revelation, the root word is revealed. So right. he's about to reveal Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 14. I've got to finish it. Then you go to the store. Real fast. It's real fast. Dad, it ain't long. It ain't long. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Dez, what kind of people got woolly hair? Look at your son's hair. I see. That's woolly hair. That's woolly hair. Another word for nappy. That's what they used to call our heads. That's right. what that means. Read on. As white as snow. My head's nappy. I got the same kind of hair he got. It just finds a little lower than his. Read. And his, on, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. It just means his eyes was red. Because what was Jesus' first miracle? Turning water into what? He drunk some. That means it's not a sin to drink wine. It's a sin to get drunk. Right. Not a sin to drink. That's what that means. His eyes were red. Read on. And his feet. I'm looking at your feet, Dad. Aren't they the same color as your arm and your face and your legs? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? Huh? No, 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 no. Brass. A penny. What color is a penny? Brown. So already, Jesus Christ, arms, feet, face, all of that is brown. Let's see how brown. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. You burn anything. What color is it? Black. So what was Jesus Christ? Black. A black man. That's and right. Because our people do what we want to do. We think he's a white man. Right. right. The Jews wrote the Bible. What color were they? Jeremiah 14 and 2. What color were the Jews? Black. Exactly. That's because I was over there talking to them earlier. The Jews look like I'm talking, I'm talking to a bunch of Jews, and y'all don't know it. Right. I'm talking to the real Israelites of the Bible. That's right. Y'all right. don't know it. Because you go to church on Sunday. What day did the black Jesus say go? Saturday, right. Sabbath day. The fourth commandment is keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. How do you do it? Because you finna go to the store on the Sabbath day, right? right. Should we shop on the Sabbath day according to God? No. Wow. Let's get it in Exodus 16. All right. I'll be there. We gonna read the law anyway. We gotta read it. No, we're supposed to be resting. 
Yes. Right. And we're going to read that out of the Bible. Out of the straight Bible. No, hey, it's just as plain as simple. It's, plain, it's not hard to understand. It's just nobody ever taught it to us. Right. Nobody. Nobody. Read. Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Read. And he said unto them that this, that this is that which the Lord hath said. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So, he's, so this is a Friday night. A Friday. He said tomorrow is the Sabbath day. It's a Friday. And at nighttime on Friday, that's when the Sabbath day begins. So he said, look, tomorrow is the Sabbath. What did he tell them to do? Read. Bake that which ye will bake today. Uh -huh. And see that ye will see. So cook what you're going to cook for tomorrow. Cook it today. Cook it on Friday, the day before the Sabbath. Read on. And that which remaineth over uh -huh. lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Because you're not even supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. That's right. Today ain't no cookouts on the Sabbath day. But right. don't we do our most of our cookouts and stuff on Saturday? <laughs> Bring it out. All our people are breaking God's laws and we wonder why the police shoot us down in the street and get away with it. Right. We wonder why, what's the dude named Dylan Roof Dylan can Roof. run up in a church and shoot up a church because we are breaking God's laws. Right. And he's, God is trying to tell us, stop. Stop breaking his laws. That's what he's telling us. Now let's get uh, Nehemiah 10, 31, because she's going to the store on the Sabbath day. So we know now ain't no cooking. Ain't no cooking on Saturdays. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Read it out. And if the people of the land uh -huh. bring where or any victuals. Where or any victuals to do what? On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day to do what? To sell. To do what? To sell. To sell it to us. So if anybody are wearing victual is things to purchase. Right. Anything you want to buy. If they bring them to you on the Sabbath day to buy it like a convenience store. Right. Like your neighborhood store. Right. Like the grocery store. Right. Gas stations. If all the things are there for you to buy it, what does it say we would do? That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You can't buy on this day. That's actually why slavery happened. Right. Because we did not do what God said. So he said, because you won't serve me, you're going to serve your enemy. That's right. right. That's why it happened. Matter of fact, let's get that. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Again, that's actually why slavery happened. We never asked, why were we the only ones picked up on slave ships? It was other people over there. Why right. did they only pick us up? We don't understand that that was God, that that was divine God. That right. was his hand putting on us to punish us. Just like we all got children. You disobey, that's a beating. Right. We are getting a beating from God today. We've been getting it for over 400 years now. And we don't ever ask, how does we, how do we make it stop? We have to stop sinning. Right. Because we go to church on Sunday, but the Bible says Sabbath day. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Because remember, I said that's why slavery happened, because we don't do what he said. Read. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou will not hearken, meaning if you don't listen, read on, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. A woman not wearing pants, that is a commandment. Right. A man not wearing a dress is a commandment. Right. Also, my brothers, if you shave your beards off, according to Leviticus 21, it is a sin right. for right. a man to shave his beard off. Yes, no, and to cover his head when he's praying or prophesying. Yes. Right. A man cannot cover his head at that time. Women are supposed to. At all times. Mm, ain't, well, you don't say all times. That ain't what the Bible say. It just say whenever you're praying or prophesying is what the Bible say. If you want to cover it at all times, there is no problem with that. There's no sin in that. Right. All right, read on. To so, so if we don't do the commandments, read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Because Moses was given the commandments to give to the Israelites. Right. Not Baptist. Right. Not Pentecostal. Right. Not Presbyterian. Right. Not Catholic. Right. Not Islam. Right. Not Egyptology. He right. was only giving God's laws and said, do them or you will go into slavery. That's right. right. That all these curses. All these curses. 
name a curse that happened to us in slavery? What happened to our kids when we had babies? They get thrown overboard on the boat. Well, what happened if they was over here in this land? What happened, man? What happened old school? What happened to our kids? If we had a wife, what would happen to our wives? What would happen to them? Wouldn't a white man come and rape our women? You think that's written in the Bible? Finish that verse. And we're going to read it in verse 30. Read. That all these curses, all this great evil, read on, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All that evil is going to overtake us. Read verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife. Me and my mans over here would have a wife. We would have a wife. And what would happen to him? And another man shall lie with her. That's our history. It's in the Bible. No right. one teaches us that. Right. All because we chose to do what we want to do. God said, I'm going to punish you. Right. Now, I now we just read. Me and him could have a wife in slavery and another man will come and take her from us and sleep with her. Right. That's, right. Did, did that happen? Is that facts? That truly happened? <laughs> All the slave movies that we done seen, Roots, uh, what's the new one that just came out? Antebellum, 12 years of slave, all that stuff was happening. Jump up to uh, 32. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters. So the, the kids that we would have with the wife, what would happen? Shall be given unto another people. Didn't that happen? Didn't they get sold away from us and we would never see them again, right? Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with me, longing me for them. you're going to cry for your kids. You are going to cry. That happened. And it can still happen today where the state can come take your kids. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Right. right. The state can come take your child and there's nothing you can do. It can still happen today. Read. And fail with longing for them all the day long. Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You have no power to get them back. Right. None. They take them, all you could do is cry, and that's it. They're gone. Right. And that stuff happened for real. It happened all the time. It happens today. Right. It still happens today. And we ignore it. We ignore the Bible when it was written by our people for our people. Right. We think it's somebody else's book. This doesn't happen to nobody else. Bring it out. Jump down to astonishment. Because that's why everybody riding around and looking at us. You got all these carriages riding around. They ain't just looking at that jail over here. They taking pictures of our people. Right. right. Our children running around. They got their phones out recording. They treating us like we the animals in a zoo. Bring it out. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Read. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment. That is what we are now. We have become an astonishment. An amazement like, wow, look how low they have fallen. Teach. They know you the real Jews. Right. They know y'all the real rulers of the earth. Right. But they won't tell you that. They won't tell you. Why would they tell you you're the better, you're the best people on earth? You're not equal to them. Right. That's not in the Bible that you're equal to them. Right. Read on. A proverb. A proverb. That's a wise saying. That is, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a what? Y'all ever heard that before? If you want to hide something from a nigga, that's the, first, the proverb they said. Put it in a what? In a, in a book. Because they say we don't what? read. And we got the Bible that we don't read. Right. Because if we read it, we would understand everything they're teaching us and putting on our children is all lies. We would not allow them to do so. Right. right. That's a, that's a proverb. That is what that is. Read on. And a byword. African American. You're going to be called something else outside your God-given name. Right. You're going to be called black, Negro, African American, Afro-American. They went as far as to call us a hairstyle. Right. I'm older than the term African American. Right. right. So there is no way we can be African Americans. Right. Because it wasn't. we was called Jews first. Bring it out. And then they changed it and called us something else when we are the real people of God. Right. But we don't believe that because they've taught us lies for so long. Our children say Jesus is a white man. Teach. The grown-ups will say he's not a white man. But the child of that parent will say, yes, he is. Bring it out. So that would mean it's not being passed down. And by the time that child finds out that he's black, 
he's already been doing what the doctrine of the so-called white man is. So why would he change it? Bring it out. Now he goes to church on Sunday because it's tradition, not because God said so. Right. He'll just go because that's what he learned from his mom and from his pops. But he won't change it because he's been doing it for so long. So you know what? Like you said, when me and you were speaking, you have family members that's in the church. And it's going to be hard for them to leave it. Right. Because they've been doing it for so long. It ain't that it's true. It's just because it's tradition. Give me matter of fact, give me Matthew 15 and 3. I'm going to show you what Christ said about that. About following traditions, even though you find out it's wrong. Matthew 15 and 3. And mind you, there is not a pastor you know that can do what we're doing. Not one. They cannot go Bible, script, script, how we doing it. We ain't standing up here reading off no board. Right. That's because we studied it. Yet right. still, there's pastors that's been teaching for 40 years and still don't know what Jesus looked like. Bring it out. When we just showed some young men and a whole family that Christ looked like them. Teach. Read. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 3. Uh-huh. But he answered and said so unto this, them. This is Christ speaking. Read on. Why do ye also transgress the commandments? So he said, why do you break my commandments? By doing what? The commandment of God by your traditions. By traditions. Why would you go on Sunday when it's a tradition when I said go on the Sabbath day? That's what Christ is asking. We don't know Christ of the Bible. We know what people told us he was. Not by what the Bible said. We're reading it out of the same book. And no one ever read this right. to our people. No one ever read it to me before I was 30. Teach. No one did. And we'll do it. And when we hear it, it's like, I don't want to hear that. I want to do what I want to do. Not understanding the reason why we live in the hoods and ghettos today is because we do what we want to do and not what God said. Bring it out. This is not normal for us. This ain't normal. I'm looking at kings over here. Right. I'm looking at princes over here. Right. I'm looking at princesses. Jeez. But we don't live like it because we don't want to follow our ways. That is our heritage. Right. A heritage is how you talk. Right. A heritage is how you dress. Jeez. A heritage is how you carry yourself and how you deal with laws on disputes between one another. Right. We got right. laws on how we love one another. Right. right. But we don't apply them. That's why we don't fail so low. Now, now we got to have the enemy come in our neighborhood with a pistol to tell us what to do amongst each other. Bring it out. Me and him got a beef. It ain't between everybody else. All I'm supposed to do is go to him one on one. Let's talk about this thing. Right. Let's iron that thing out. Let's get it fixed. Right. Not, not to abuse him, to win him over as a brother. Right. right. So by the end of the day, everybody will see they at odds. At the end of the day, they're going to see they ain't at odds no more. Ain't nobody shooting and killing nobody. Right. But we don't know how to apply that. That's why we don't live how we're supposed to. That's right. why we are in, we're in the conditions we in. Teach. But we don't ever ask, what's the solution in the Bible? We'll ask, well, let's go vote. Are y'all voting? Do y'all vote? Do you vote? Do you vote? Yeah? Why? Give me do the one. Yes. What right? And I ask what right, because according to their laws, you're not a citizen of America. You're right. a denizen. I got it. A denizen means they tell you what to do. They give you false privileges. Remember, when Trump won the last time, didn't Hillary win? Didn't the black people outvote him by three million? Not just by 3,000, three million. Bring it out. He lost by three million or more. Jeez. But yet still he's the president and all our people went and voted. So that would mean your vote does not matter. But let's see if you're supposed to even go vote in the first place. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 15. Read. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. So you shouldn't put nobody king over you. Read. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So, uh -huh. so God is going to pick who he wants over you. Who's our king? Yes. So why would you vote? He's the only one you need. So right. why would you vote and depend on another race that don't save you, that don't love you? Look at our neighborhood. Do they come in here and fix this place up? No. But you will vote for them to do so, but they never do. Right. 
<laughs> they never do. Read. The Lord thy God shall choose one from among thy brethren. So he has to be an Israelite, a Jew, an Israelite from one of these 12 tribes. But God already chose him. He said it's Jesus Christ from the tribe of Judah. Read. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Uh-huh. Thou mayest not set. Thou mayest not. Read on. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Ain't that what you're doing when you go vote? You setting a stranger, a person you don't know over you with your livelihood to tell, let them decide how your community is going to run. But this is what we're doing. This is why we've forgotten everything that we supposed to know. Read. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 17. Read. Read out. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. So we go to people for vain help, meaning no good. It ain't no help. Read. In our watching, we have watched for a nation. So we go to a nation that could not save us. That's why, that's why you vote. <laughs> you go to a people that can't save you. Yeah, read on. They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. That's why we getting killed. They are hunters of our bodies. Right. And we vote for them. We look for them to help. The same people that put us in slavery, we ask them to get us out. Right. When they won't do it because it's not beneficial for them. If we ain't in slavery, that means we are on top. Right. We ruling everybody. Right. If we ain't in slavery, we on top. So why would they want you out of slavery? Bring it because out. that means you over them. Jeez. That means everything that they did to you, you going to do to them double. Right. That's what God said. That's the whole point of, y'all ever heard the term, the first shall be last and the last shall be first? Well, who lasts right now? Bring it out. <laughs> so who going to be first then? But y'all don't believe that because if you did, you would do what God said. Right. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.